The applicable knowledge attained through the master's program at Moreland University is extensive. In the first module, we were to create a video on anything related to early childhood education. Having already been naturally student-oriented and constructivist without knowing the term, I applied Milton Highland Erickson's psychological approach to teaching. In the following module, we created a padlet introducing learning theories of a variety of renowned practitioners. Having already developed an affinity toward the Montessori method, I created an in-depth video explaining the system created by Maria Montessori known as AMI, and contrasting it with her successor, Nancy McCormick Ambush, founder of AMS. In the same module, I created a video addressing the adverse effects of school lockdown from the futility and foolishness of locking down schools for the Wuhan virus. As a third assignment in the same module, some courts and I created a video showcasing an act whereby strategies for dealing with the lack of parental involvement were disclosed. In the preceding module, I created two videos. One was on cultural diversity and the other on quality books for school libraries and early childhood education. A handout on supportive educational tools was also manifested along with a presentation on religious diversity and age bias. In the next module, I made a presentation and video on differentiated instruction and a handout on dealing with aggressive behavior. Two more videos were made on bullying and developmentally appropriate practice. In the final module, I created this video one on my ideas for an ideal curriculum, the benefits of social experiences, and a comparison of Waldorf and creative curriculum. Throughout the module, we have added our creations to an e-portfolio, which you can find in the link provided. Out of all the developmental theories, I remain sympathetic to the Montessori method. The major difference was in learning about Loris Malaguzzi. I find the two complementary, as mentioned in the assignment where I compared the two. Where they have differences, they are differences that ought to be included, not excluded. Together, they make a more rounded education curriculum that is both developmentally appropriate and student-focused, believing in a child's innate natural ability so much that the teachers are but mere facilitators rather than figures of authority. Not only will these theories influence a more spacious, child-sized, bright classroom setup, however, they will have me as more of a facilitator and merely helping students reach their innate potential that already exists. My understanding of various learning styles and student perspectives contributes to my ability to emphasize and direct considerably. Offering students choices in what they learn and how they express the knowledge they have gained will create a more interesting environment where students are engaged, having fun, and learning how to be a friend as well as make them. The knowledge I have gained will impact my students greatly. I now know the importance of quality parental communication, the importance of meeting individual students' needs, how to assist students during and after a lockdown, the exposure to a variety of online tools that assist in communication and lesson planning, and a variety of theories which all have something valuable to contribute. Concepts like scaffolding, conditioning, multiple intelligences, and learning through play and observation are all concepts from different theorists, yet all applicable in early childhood education. The only question is when and how to apply them. As a result of this program, both students and parents will have a more effective teacher than they could have ha ever had in the prior. I now feel I enter classrooms with a clearer insight to classroom management, student motivation, and rapport. I expect I will be able to guide administration, designing more effective curriculum that not only teach students the skills they will need to know in society, but the ability to search and find themselves, becoming all that they are and can ever be.